Hey everyone, now before this video really even starts, I just want to say the amount of support from the previous video was amazing. Right now it hasn't even been a day and we've had over 470 of you guys come over and experience this theory that I wanted to get out to you guys and I wanted you guys to also explain your theories in which you all did and I've tried to reply to as many as I could and react to them so yeah it is um a really amazing thing that you can all come up with these wild theories and some of them actually making more sense than my own and some that are potentially what might actually happen which is very scary to say the least. This video though, I have said on my community post, which I'll put up on screen now, that should I make an SMG4 and Niles comparison and compare the similarities of what Niles had to what SMG4 is currently experiencing as we speak. Now, the countdown is at 40 hours and 36 minutes at the moment. I will probably be streaming the 48 hour scene change because I have a very strong feeling that the scene will change every 24 hours. Yes, I predicted it. I predicted it. Anyways, today we're going to be going with a completely different theory that I did say within my video. And we'll take it into more depth and explain, as I have seen comments of people's theories suggesting even stronger remnants that I thought of originally. So, when we had the Revelations movie, we had a character called Niles, who we all knew about originally from the arc itself. We were represented with Niles as a nice character helping Melanie's powers. However, we discover that in the Revelations movie, we get the full backstory of SMG Zero, telling us the full story behind his world and his avatar. Now, in this moment of time, Niles and Mel Melanie actually merged and so they are being, so Niles is controlling Melanie. After the massive bang of the SMGs and Marios arriving in SMG Zero's universe, Melanie starts to gain consciousness and attempts to escape the controlled self. Now, while this is happening, SMG Zero explains to SMG4 and 3 the entire story behind their world and how it got destroyed. We can see that SMG Zero was having a perfectly fine time with his avatar Fred and everything was going well until all of a sudden the memes that were within that universe started becoming corrupted. Now SMG Zero being the only SMG at the time never really understood anything about these memes and how to cure them how to fix them, and where to fix them. However, all of a sudden, a USB drops down into SMG Zero's world, supposedly being SMG Zero's USB, and SMG Zero is taken away. SMG Zero lands at the God Box, where he, he prays for things to become the way they were, or things to stay the way they were, and never to have this issue again. The God Box opens, and grants this power and generates a character called Niles. Niles was created by the God Box. Now, Niles was a friendly character, and as I have seen in the comments, and from my own lingering knowledge, we saw Niles be a very helpful person. He, he created the internet graveyard, he was the one that to create it, after all. He wanted SMG Zero and Fred to be safe 
from these memes to not ever get corrupted again. Things were going the way they were meant to. SMG Zero and Fred were going to have fun, play their games, and they were fine, they were sorted out. The internet graveyard was made, so there'd be no danger ever to see again. But as SMG Zero says, everything was perfect, except for him. I'm just gonna play the clip with his audio, and then I'll come back. And there, I met one of my closest friends, Niles. Together, we made the internet graveyard and created the meme life cycle to cleanse all the corrupted memes. And everything was perfect again. <laughs> Except for him. So coming back to the clip, um, you can see that he starts getting possessed by the god box's power. Now, because of Niles' power of saving the place and the power starts consuming him and con controlling him and stuff, he becomes possessed and because he's originally created by the god box, he can't fight it. And so he is just instantly snapped into um, a possessment. Everything starts going haywire and this UFO looking thing comes down from the sky and zaps Fred and just erases, erases Fred. Fred, not even any deaf last words, just zapped and deleted. Now, Niles lands and he gains consciousness of himself again as you can see with the eyes flickering from the zero to himself but it's already too late he's been he's been taken over he was created by the god box he had no way of fighting back so he tricked smg zero into being turned into a monster we all know what happens next that insane monster happens and now if we obviously go back to the very end of the revelations arc with um, SMG Zero or the the Niles SMG Zero as we like to call it we can see a very very similar cutscene or a little part of the scene that is very identical to how the Mario Day video was portrayed I put one on screen and then the other just to show you the complete resemblance and then I'll talk to you about it after the big hours. you're my friend Niles I can't let you do this. I'll fix this. Don't worry. Just watch. Just watch. You and I will fix it all. <laughs> Boy, idiot. We're all here to celebrate your best friend's day, and you're acting like this? None of you understand the work I do. Mamma mia. Just leave me the f alone. The hand movements are nearly identical, with SMG3 raising his hands as the good guy or attempting to be the good guy and tell him that he needs to stop and he needs to cut this out. The same can be seen with SMG0 raising his hands up and saying, you need to stop, you need to calm down, it's over, and things like that. Now, Niles being the person wanting things to be perfect and not to have any issues completely ignores smg zero and continues trying to get out as fast as he can smg4 on the other hand because he wasn't created by the god box or so we don't think he has the ability to fight back so he isn't possessed but he has the power of the god box or the remnants of it and so he's starting to get cranky that he's got to make things perfect the same way as what Niles had wanting things to be perfect and with the same scene kind of being transformed we can see SMG3 trying to help SMG4 out but it seems that it's already too late and SMG4 is ignorant to it and 
storms back into his room to create the perfect video. Now, the main prioritization of it being focused onto perfection, not caring about his surroundings. Like we can see with Niles just smacking SMG0 out the way to try and control the power of the god box and to be perfection. The same is kind of seen with SG4, but without hissing anyone, he screams it away and s s locks himself away again. Now, there's nothing to say that he didn't just go slap someone. He pretty much got a flamethrower and a Waluigi launcher and just started exploding the place. And that's a little bit more dramatic than a prophetic slap. But you get what I mean and the little resemblance and stuff that you've seen. And... I'm obviously putting screenshots on screen and stuff and showing you the complete resemblance in frame to frame time and all that stuff and it's very scary and I just hope something happens and something gets resolved about it and yeah. Hopefully you enjoy this little more different theory, I think it's a bit more shorter anyways, but I've got to get it to perfection you see, but no seriously, yeah I just hope things turn out well and nothing bad happens. So as you can see we have a little special announcement right here. And I am voicing over this because I just wanted to have my thoughts over this when we are unboxing this. And yeah, you can skip ahead if you want. There are time stamps in this video, but I really wouldn't recommend it because this is actually very funny. So I am unboxing what my friend has sent me as a gift. His friend is has my his his friend's name is Hasquatic. And he has um, given me this special thing for the bo post box, and yeah, uh, you can just see from that it's a, it's a bit, it's a bit crazy. Um, so uh, I've just got to point up the camera perfectly. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so w let's just cut this out and see see how how it looks like. We play this. Yep. Whoa! Now I was actually very shocked when I saw this. I don't know why I was facing like this. Then I realised, oh, the camera's facing this way. And so I was like, yeah, look, it's this way. Uh, we've got some very good content. I was, I was shocked to see that. And I was like, look at that. That's insane. The Hasquatic best video or what vids series. Now, for some reason, it came out here. But um, that was amazing. The head goes into the disc. It was a very cool addition to add on. And so we had these really cool things. And I showed it. Right here, I am actually featured, as you can see, which is very nice. And so, this is very, this is a very nice gift to be given. Um, collector's edition, of course. And the complete difference, side by side. Terrible camera. But, um, yeah, then we get this massive, beautiful picture. So, yeah, hopefully you guys in a, enjoyed that. 